So hello and welcome to another class of ABM Biology Sciences. This is Abhishek with you. So today I'll be talking about Baltimore classification, which is a very important aspect to read about because the virus replication strategy is very very important if you want and want to encounter a virus. If you want to stop its replication process, stop its uh, uh, protein synthesis or RNA synthesis, then you have to know what is its replication strategies. And that replication strategy is defined from virus to virus and family to family. That is totally different and that's why it is divided into seven types depending upon the nucleic acid and depending upon the type of replication strategy. So that's why I'm here. Now today, Baltimore classification explains about seven types of, that is seven types of what? Replication strategy. Okay, now these seven types of replication strategy depends on what? Nucleic acid, that is DNA or RNA. Okay, now again, this DNA and RNA can be divided into different types, what? Like double stranded or single stranded RNA, right? So I will start the classification now. So first one is class one that is double stranded DNA virus replication. So DS means double stranded. Okay. So that is the first one. Now second type of classification depends upon the single-stranded DNA virus replication. So double-stranded DNA virus or replication you can say as an example that is a pox virus. Okay. Now, the single stranded DNA virus that is a parvovirid. Okay. So, these are the family of viruses which depends upon this particular replication strategy. So, as you see, this is DNA virus, it can directly go from DNA to mRNA to protein. Okay. Now, in case of single-stranded DNA, it may be such a complicated process where the similar types of genes are rearranged like early, late, likewise. So, I will be coming each and every viral replication in detail in my coming classes. So, here I am giving you a total overview. So, again, double-stranded RNA virus. That is, Rio virus an example you can take this virus the double stranded RNA virus which depends upon the replication strategy where it uh, genome part role uh, its role is in a single poly not not polycystonic which is a monocystonic it means one gene will be encountered for one protein only. That is a monocystronic way in case of double standard RNA viruses. Now here I am going to the next level, class 4, that is about single stranded RNA viruses. But here one catches positive sense. Now the positive sense RNA tells you whether the RNA genome can be read directly as the mRNA or it has to go from other way. So the positive sense virus can directly transform or directly read their RNA genome to form protein. Means this positive sense RNA genome can directly act as an mRNA or messenger RNA which can be directly transferred to protein okay, or decoded to protein. 
Now the fifth one is the single stranded RNA also, but it is negative sense. So here the RNA virus which you are going to deal with is the genome cannot be read directly as an mRNA. So it has to form a replicative form. Okay, so you can see in both the cases there will be replicative form, but here this RNA as this RNA cannot be directly read as an mRNA to form the protein. First it has to go for a replicative form where it will make copies from this negative sense to positive sense of their genome and then it can be directly read as an mRNA protein. But that time is just saved in case of positive sense RNA viruses. Now as an example you can take P. coronaviruses or P. coronaviridae and you can take example as orthomyxoviruses so this is the case okay now coming to the sixth one which is a bit easier you can say a bit complicated where single stranded RNA virus with RT role. What is RT role? That is reverse transcription or single stranded RNA virus with DNA intermediate. So, this type of virus you have encountered in your recombinant DNA technology that is also called, yes, you are right, that is what? reverse transcriptase, retroviruses. So retroviruses where their genome is segmented RNA genomes which can be directly converted into cDNA into cDNA and then that DNA is used for making their genome copies that is RNA copies and then it can be converted later on to proteins and the whole video will be assembled within the cell and it will be delivered to other cells or all over the body. So this is the kind of single, single standard RNA viruses which kind of RT role that is a DNA intermediate. That is, so the example here is retroviruses. Now the last but not the least is double stranded dna virus with rna as an intermediate okay so double stranded dna virus with rna as an intermediate this is a very exclusive family as an example you can take hepardnaviridae Now, a direct example will be hepatitis B. Sorry. Hepatitis B, which shows this kind of replication strategy where the genome is double stranded DNA but it needs an RNA intermediate where the RNA will form a closed circular, closed circular form CCF you can say so closed circular form formed of RNA in case of hepatitis B where the DNA converted into RNA and that RNA is used to make the copies of the virus that is the genome that is double stranded DNA so that RNA is utilized to make double stranded DNA as a viral genome in case of hepatitis B so I hope I am clear with this. So these are the seven types of classification depending upon the genome of the virus or the strategy through which they replicate. So if you have any questions, please ask me, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.